Hey, what's up everybody? Before we get into today's epic CAD vs CAD battle, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. All month, we're gonna be taking the challenges from the tournament and we're gonna be remixing them a little bit, maybe changing some dimensions, changing the material, and we're gonna be adding them to the library over at TooTallToby.com. So if you want to challenge yourself to see if you could model these parts faster than our speed modelers from the tournament, this is your chance. Head over to TooTallToby.com, sign up for an account and unlock Practice Models Premium. And we are going to continue remixing these tournament challenges and posting them in the Practice Models library all month. So I hope you guys enjoy all those challenges. And of course, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about today's CAD vs CAD battle. We here at Too Tall Toby, the production team, we do not decide what the fate is for our runners. Instead, we turn to the Wheel of Fate. And in this tournament, the Wheel of Fate is sponsored by our friends over at Plasticity. And so the uh, the Wheel of Fate, as you can see here, the Wheel of Fate has a series of uh, challenges listed on it. And what the Wheel of Fate does is it helps us to randomize those challenges. And you can see in the chat, one of the things that our chat really enjoys doing is they enjoy uh, trying to prove their clairvoyance. So our chat goes through here. Big B from AZ says 42. Uh, that's a fantastic answer. Big B from AZ, that is always the answer. That is correct. Uh, and Rockcrawler says 13. Jim U, 28. Kev says 27. Peter, 31. Rockcrawler, 25. So here we go. Shuffle, 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 and spin. And guys, what is it gonna be? Was Serial Sal correct? That's what we're going to find out. That's the big question. Okay. All right. This is a fantastic one to start on. Fantastic model to start on. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to remove this one from the wheel. And again, I want to say thank you so much to our friends at Plasticity. Visit them at plasticity.xyz. Let's get into today's match. Now, while the production team is getting this uh, drawing, drawing number 27 ready to go, we are going to learn a little bit about our runners. And uh, I think... Guys, I think I have, uh, I think I may have, uh, uh, have a, a few too many facts here on these boards. So we're going to just uh, talk about a couple of them. So I'd say you can see that he ran a half marathon last Sunday and he's still in pain. His it still hurts when he blinks. Yo, that's tight. And oh, we see Sebastian over here started using Katia in 2011. His biggest fear is click OK to terminate. And of course, Sebastian runs a CAD automation startup focused on streamlining engineering workflows. That's right, CADOp.io, basically the most famous uh, modern cloud first platform for CAD documentation. None other than Sebastian right here from the tournament is the head programmer on that app, head developer and uh, really has done a nice job putting that thing together. If you guys visit catop.io, you'll see firsthand what that app looks like, and you can start to visualize how that's going to save you and your team time. So very excited to see this match. You know, they're seeing this drawing for the first time, and they're trying to figure out what should be the location of my origin. What should my first sketch look like? Uh, what types of features am I going to use to build this thing? And then immediately they're in the CAD system and they're actually executing on that plan. So it's always amazing to me to see that they've never seen the drawing before and they go from that to uh, actually modeling up these parts. But, you know, some of you have never been here before, so this is going to be your first time. So let's get into it here. This first CAD vs. CAD battle in our Elite 8 matchup of the day between Atze from Macedonia using SolidWorks, our number 9 seed, going up against Sebastian from Germany using Katia, our number 1 seed. This CAD vs. CAD battle begins in 3, 2, 1... Go! What is the mass of this part in x.xx pounds? The tolerance is plus or minus 0.01 pounds. The unit system is IPS, which is inches. The material is 1060 aluminum alloy. And this is a cool part. It's called ashtray. And uh, both of our runners have grabbed a screen capture. And both of our runners are in their CAD systems trying to model this thing up. And wow, wow, wow. Good luck to these guys. This is a tricky model here. Uh, at first, it looks like it's kind of simple, but I think that the more you look at it, the more you try to plan out what you're going to do with this thing, uh, the trickier you realize it is. 
So good luck to both of our runners on this model. This is a tier four model. So we do rank our models by tier level. This is a tier four model. And we see Atse on the right using SolidWorks, jumping right in there and uh, modeling this thing up by creating the cross section of this model. I think I have an idea of what he's going to be doing with that cross section. And we see Sebastian on the left using Katia getting in there and also creating kind of that same shape. It's almost like both of our runners are creating that same shape. But it looks like Sebastian on the left has already put in the fillet there in his sketch. It's kind of an interesting d discussion debate. You know, is it better to put your fillets in at the feature level? Is it better to put your fillets in at the sketch level? It looks like Sebastian's going to be putting them in at the sketch level. Oh, and Atze on the right also putting his fillets in there on the sketch level. So very interesting here from both of our runners. Can't wait to see how this thing shakes out. And I'd say drawing first blood, turning that model into a solid model, getting that shape revolved. He drew a cross section and turned it into a revolve. And uh, now we see Sebastian taking that shape and revolving it as well. But oh, Sebastian shaped it. Okay, he got it. He got it there. Okay. Looked like maybe he did something wrong there at first. And Sebastian jumping in there with what looked like a delete face to get rid of that excess geometry. Very, very cool. And I'd say on the right now sketching that kind of... Uh, uh, it almost looks like a piece of structural steel there sticking up from the middle of that uh, uh, sticking up from the middle of that ashtray. So guys, in the old days, we saw these ashtrays everywhere. They were at McDonald's, they were at uh, bars. We always saw ashtrays like this. Four, it's a four player ashtray. That's when you know you're serious when you got four different four different smokers at once. Even in airplanes, Victor K says, yeah, exactly, exactly. So both of our runners looking at this uh, thing, coming up with a game plan and jumping into it. Interesting to see Sebastian decided to punch a hole through the bottom of this, where Atze decided to uh, instead extrude that extra geometry up top. We'll see which strategy pays off here. Uh, but uh, it's it's really anybody's game at this point. I can't say that anyone is clearly a front runner on this thing. And both these guys are so fast that before you know it, uh, one person could overtake the other. So we're just gonna have to watch and see how they handle this. But both of our runners kind of looking at that drawing, trying to decipher that drawing. In the chat, some of our, our members of the chat are uh, remembering the old days when they saw some of these shapes. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. And uh, now we see that it looks like Ate is getting in there and adding that fillet. And Sebastian adding the fillet at the same time. Wow. Both the models look so similar and they both added that fillet at almost the exact same time. That is so cool when uh, that type of thing happens. Little uh, model synchronicity here. And again, both of our runners creating that kind of slot shape. This one is really going to come down to the wire. We're going to be watching the chat to see uh, who is able to come up with the correct mass for this model. First, uh, we see here that both of them are now creating that slot shape at the same time from the same view it's almost like we're watching two different views if we if they weren't on two different CAD systems it would almost look like they were uh, both using the same CAD system and modeling the same part here uh, but it looks like Ate was able to get that cut first and Sebastian right behind him now who's going to be able to turn it into a pattern first so Ate looks like he's trying to run through Sebastian looks like he got that into the pattern first and uh, looks like you might be seeing an answer coming into the chat here we're watching the chat we're watching the chat we're watching to see whose answer comes in first and here we go and Sebastian comes in with an answer 9.01 one pounds and that is not correct 9.01 or, or uh, 9.02 I guess if you round it up but that is not correct with intolerance we're watching the chat we're watching the chat uh, and uh, Sebastian now looking at his model trying to figure out maybe uh, what what he was missing and we see Atze comes into the chat 9.04 uh, pounds and that is correct and congratulations to Atze and wow 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 talk about a close battle there close tolerance on that thing my goodness that was close and it was uh sebastian and atze both coming in with an answer at almost the same time uh and uh count says ggg unlucky sebastian with that sneaky fillet uh yes indeed it looks like that was the problem and uh i'll have to go back and review the video i couldn't see exactly what the issue was but they were both so fast both coming in with those answers within mere moments of one another and what a cool way to start off this day Man, I'd say, well done, my friend, earning that point. And uh, just to review here, the correct answer was 9.04 pounds, plus or minus 0.01 pounds. And so what that means is if we go back and we look at the answer submitted by Sebastian, the answer that came in from uh, Sebastian there was originally, and you can see he corrected it, 9.0158, so basically 9.02 pounds. And the, the tolerance range there was 9.03 pounds. So he was 
so close there. And then you see he revised it there just a few moments later. Uh, wow, 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 guys. That was uh, that was some really close modeling. Some real good effort there from both of our runners. And congratulations to Atze for earning that first point. Guys, we've we've got a, we got a pretty good matchup here between these guys. This is pretty exciting. So, wow, 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 guys, uh, let's uh, let's kind of shake that off a little bit, and uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying these battles. Be sure to hit the like button here.